binding verb to tie to confine by any ligature noun an item usually rope tape or string used to hold two or more things together adjective of an agreement contract etc imposing stipulations or requirements that must be honored pizzas noun a baked italian dish of a thinly rolled bread dough crust typically topped before baking with tomato sauce cheese and other ingredients such as meat vegetables or fruit course noun a sequence of events verb to run or flow especially of liquids and more particularly blood engine noun a large construction used in warfare such as a battering ram catapult etc verb to equip with an engine said especially of steam vessels mental adjective of or relating to the mind or an intellectual process ram noun a male sheep typically uncastrated pour noun the act of pouring verb to cause liquid or liquid like substance to flow in a stream either out of a container or into it eyebrow noun the hair that grows over the bone ridge above the eye socket verb to build up waste fibers in a roller machine patrolling verb to go the rounds along a chain of sentinels to traverse a police district or beat noun the act of going on patrol privileged verb to grant some particular right or exemption to. To invest with a peculiar right or immunity. To authorize. Adjective. Having special privileges. Climate. Noun. An area of the Earth's surface between two parallels of latitude. Verb. To dwell. Select. Verb. To choose one or more elements of a set. Especially a set of options. Adjective. Privileged. Specially selected numbness noun absent or reduced sensitivity to cutaneous stimulation publish verb to issue something such as printed work for distribution and or sale horn noun a hard growth of keratin that protrudes from the top of the head of certain animals usually paired verb of an animal to assault with the horns outline noun a line marking the boundary of an object figure verb to draw an outline of absolutely adverb in an absolute or unconditional manner utterly positively wholly interjection yes certainly expression indicating strong agreement r noun an accepted but deprecated and rarely used SI unit of area equal to 100 square meters, or a former unit of approximately the same extent. Symbol. A. Margin. Noun. The edge of the paper. Typically left blank when printing but sometimes used for annotations etc. Verb. To add a margin to. Container. Noun. Someone who contains. Something that contains. Arrival. Noun, the act of arriving or something that has arrived. Maim. Noun, a serious wound. Verb, to wound seriously. To cause permanent loss of function of a limb or part of the body. Decomposition. Noun, a biological process through which organic material is reduced to e.g. compost. Persons. Noun, an individual, usually a human being. Verb. To represent as a person. To personify. To impersonate. Among. Preposition. Denotes a mingling or intermixing with distinct or separable objects. See usage note at amidst. Helicopter. Noun. An aircraft that is borne along by one or more sets of long rotating blades which allow it to hover. Move in any direction including reverse. Or land and typically having a smaller set of blades on its tail that stabilize the aircraft. Verb. To transport by helicopter. Bikes. Noun. A vehicle that has two wheels. One behind the other. A steering handle. And a saddle seat or seats and is usually propelled by the action of a rider's feet upon pedals. Verb. To ride a bike. Noun. 
a hive of bees, or a nest of wasps, hornets, or ants. Noun. A motorcycle. Noun. A local woman who is sexually promiscuous. Powder. Noun. The fine particles which are the result of reducing dry substance by pounding, grinding, or triturating, or the result of decay. Dust. Verb. To reduce to fine particles. To pound, grind, or rub into a powder. Noun. A very pale blue color. Noun. Freshly fallen. Uncompacted snow. Especially in the context of alpine skiing. Estimate. Noun. A rough calculation or assessment of the value. Size. Or cost of something. Verb. To calculate roughly. Often from imperfect data. Fairness. Noun. The property of being fair or equitable. Dependency. Noun. A state of dependence. A refusal to exercise initiative. Crop. Noun. A plant. Especially a cereal. Grown to be harvested as food. Livestock fodder or fuel or for any other economic purpose. Drink. Verb. To consume. A liquid. Through the mouth. Dimensions. Noun. A single aspect of a given thing. Verb. To mark. Cut or shape something to specified dimensions. Arrow. Noun. A projectile consisting of a shaft. A point and a tail with stabilizing fins that is shot from a bow. Verb. To move swiftly and directly. Like an arrow. Gene. Noun. A theoretical unit of heredity of living organisms. A gene may take several values and in principle predetermines a precise trait of an organism's form. Phenotype. Such as hair color. Platform. Noun. A raised stage from which speeches are made and on which musical and other performances are made. Verb. To furnish with or shape into a platform. Establish. Verb. To make stable or firm. To confirm. Boat. Noun. A craft used for transportation of goods. Fishing. Racing. Recreational cruising. Or military use on or in the water. Propelled by oars or outboard motor or inboard motor or by wind. Verb. To travel by boat. Placement. Noun. The act of placing or putting in place. The act of locating or positioning. The state of being placed. Depressed. Verb. To press down. Adjective. Unhappy. Despondent. Never. Adverb. At no time. On no occasion. In no circumstance. Automatic. Noun. A car with automatic transmission. Adjective. Capable of operating without external control or intervention. Grocer. Noun. A person who retails groceries. Foodstuffs and household items. From a grocery. Verb. To sell groceries. To act as a grocer. Accessible. Adjective. Easy of access or approach. Sensitive. Noun. A person with a paranormal sensitivity to something that most cannot perceive. Adjective. Having the faculty of sensation. Pertaining to the senses. Essay. Noun. Authorship. A written composition of moderate length. Exploring a particular issue or subject. Responsibilities. Noun. The state of being responsible, accountable, or answerable. Alive. Adjective. Having life. Living. Not dead. Adjective. Only used attributively. Having life. That is alive. Calculations. Noun. The act or process of calculating. Constitution. Noun. The act or process of setting something up or establishing something. The composition or structure of such a thing. Its makeup. Fourteenth. Noun. The person or thing in the fourteenth position. Adjective. The ordinal form of the number 14. Elderly. Noun. An elderly person. Adjective. Old. Having lived for relatively many years. Humidifier. Noun. A device that is used to increase the humidity of the air. Darned. Verb. Euphemism of dam. Verb. To repair by stitching with thread or yarn. 
particularly by using a needle to construct a weave across a damaged area of fabric. Adjective. A minced oath for damned. Adverb. Degree. Damned. Extremely. Chaste. Verb. To pursue. Verb. To groove. Indent. Graduate. Noun. A person who is recognized by a university as having completed the requirements of a degree studied at the institution. Verb. To be recognized by a school or university as having completed the requirements of a degree studied at the institution. Adjective. Graduated. Arranged by degrees. C. Verb. Stative. To perceive or detect with the eyes. Or as if by sight. Interjection. Directing the audience to pay attention to the following. Mascara. Noun. A cosmetic used to darken and thicken the eyelashes. Verb. To apply mascara to the eyelashes. Sinking. Verb. Heading. Physical. To move or be moved into something. Noun. The process by which something sinks. How. Noun. The means by which something is accomplished. Adverb. To what degree. Conjunction. The manner or way that. Extraordinary. Noun. Anything that goes beyond what is ordinary. Adjective. Not ordinary. Exceptional. Unusual. Mistakes. Noun. An error. A blunder. Verb. To understand wrongly. Taking one thing or person for another. Bundle. Noun. A group of objects held together by wrapping or tying. Verb. To tie or wrap together into a bundle. Verb. Often with, on. To jump into a dog pile. Names. Noun. Any nounal word or phrase which indicates a particular person. Place. Class. Or thing. Verb. Detransitive. To give a name to. Noun. Any of several types of true yam. Dioscorea. Used in Caribbean Spanish cooking. Following. Verb. To go after. To pursue. To move behind in the same path or direction. Noun. A group of followers. Attendants or admirers. An entourage. Adjective. Coming next. Either in sequence or in time. Preposition. After. Subsequent to. Penthouse. Noun. An outhouse or other structure. Especially one with a sloping roof. Attached to the outside wall of a building. Sometimes as protection from the weather. Verb. To provide with a penthouse. Shelter by means of a shed sloping from a wall. Or anything similar. Snacks. Noun. A light meal. Verb. To eat a light meal. Noun. A share. A part or portion. Verb. To snatch. Savings. Noun. A reduction in cost or expenditure. Railway. Noun. A transport system using rails used to move passengers or goods. Positive. Noun. A thing capable of being affirmed. Something real or actual. Adjective. Not negative or neutral. Information. Noun. That which resolves uncertainty. Anything that answers the question of, what a given entity is. Masters. Noun. Someone who has control over something or someone. Verb. To be a master. Noun. In combination. A vessel having a specified number of masts. Noun. A master's degree. Augmented. Verb. To increase. To make larger or supplement. Adjective. Increased in number. Amount or strength. Softly. Adverb. In a soft manner. Gently. Payable. Noun. In the plural. Debts owed by a business. Liabilities. Adjective. Due to be paid. Habits. Noun. An action performed on a regular basis. Verb. To clothe. Hopeless. Adjective. Without hope. Despairing. Not expecting anything positive. Redefining. Verb. To define again or differently. Grow. Verb. To become larger. To increase in magnitude. Bankrupt. Noun. One who becomes unable to pay his or her debts. An insolvent person. Verb. To force into bankruptcy. Adjective. In a condition of bankruptcy. Unable to pay one's debts. Absorb. 
verb to include so that it no longer has separate existence to overwhelm to cause to disappear as if by swallowing up to incorporate to assimilate to take in and use up permission noun authorization consent especially formal consent from someone in authority verb to grant or obtain authorization for knee noun in humans the joint or the region of the joint in the middle part of the leg between the thigh and the shank verb to kneel to appearing verb to come or be in sight to be in view to become visible noun appearance act of coming into view notary noun a lawyer of non-contentious private civil law who drafts takes and records legal instruments for private parties and provides legal advice but does not appear in court on client's behalf sourced verb to obtain or procure used especially of a business resource girls noun a female child adolescent or a young woman verb to feminize or girlify to gender as a girl or as for girls noun a woman's breasts internal adjective inside of something grand noun plural grand a thousand of some unit of currency such as dollars or pounds compare g adjective of a large size or extent great safe noun a box usually made of metal in which valuables can be locked for safekeeping verb to make something safe adjective not in danger out of harm's reach let's noun the allowing of possession of a property etc in exchange for rent verb to allow to not to prevent plus infinitive but usually without to noun an obstacle or hindrance verb to hinder prevent impede hamper cumber to obstruct someone or something packets noun a small pack or package a little bundle or parcel verb to make up into a packet or bundle dispatcher noun a message sent quickly as a shipment a prompt settlement of a business or an important official message sent by a diplomat or military officer noun in a transportation organization a person who controls the movements of vehicles kidding verb to make a fool of someone noun the action of the verb kid director noun one who directs the person in charge of managing a department or directorate e.g. director of engineering project or production as in a show or film e.g. film director nickname noun a familiar invented given name for a person or thing used instead of the actual name of the person or thing verb to give a nickname to a person or thing sit noun subsidence of the roof of a coal mine verb of a person to be in a position in which the upper body is upright and supported by the buttocks makeup noun an item's composition incense noun a perfume used in the rites of various religions verb to anger or infuriate shoes noun a protective covering for the foot with a bottom part composed of thick leather or plastic sole and often a thicker heel and a softer upper part made of leather or synthetic material shoes generally do not extend above the ankle as opposed to boots which do verb to put shoes on one's feet sequence noun a set of things next to each other in a set order a series verb to arrange in an order sense verb to make something such as an object or message go from one place to another cast noun an act of throwing verb physical to move or be moved away plans noun a drawing showing technical details of a building machine etc with unwanted details omitted and often using symbols rather than detailed drawing to represent doors valves etc verb to design a building 
machine, etc. Playoffs. Noun, a final game in a series needed to break a tie. Stomach. Noun, an organ in animals that stores food in the process of digestion. Verb, to tolerate, something, emotionally, physically, or mentally, to stand or handle something. Flat. Noun, an area of level ground. Verb, to make a flat call. To call without raising. Adjective, having no variations in height. Adverb, so as to be flat. Lengthen. Verb, to make longer, to extend the length of. Nights. Adverb, at night. Flowing. Verb, to move as a fluid from one position to another. Noun, the action of the verb to flow. Adjective, tending to flow. Script. Noun, a writing, a written document. Verb, to make or write a script. Shake. Noun, the act of shaking or being shaken. Tremulous or back and forth motion. Verb, to cause. Something, to move rapidly in opposite directions alternatingly. Focus. Noun, a point at which reflected or refracted rays of light converge. Verb, followed by on or upon. To concentrate one's attention. Hook. Noun. A rod bent into a curved shape. Typically with one end free and the other end secured to a rope or other attachment. Verb. To attach a hook to. Boots. Noun. A heavy shoe that covers part of the leg. Verb. To kick. Noun. Remedy. Amends. Verb. To avail. Benefit. Profit. Noun. The act or process of bootstrapping. The starting or restarting of a computing device. Verb. To bootstrap. To start a system. E.g. a computer. By invoking its boot process or bootstrap. Noun. A bootleg recording. Noun. A servant at a hotel etc. Who cleans and blacks the boots and shoes. Immense. Noun. Immense extent or expanse. Immensity. Adjective. Huge, gigantic, very large. Butcher. Noun. A person who prepares and sells meat. And sometimes also slaughters the animals. Verb. To slaughter. Animals. And prepare. Meat. For market. Revive. Verb. To return to life. To become reanimated or reinvigorated. Cognitive. Noun. Cognate. Adjective. Relating to the part of mental functions that deals with logic. As opposed to effective which deals with emotions. Established. Verb. To make stable or firm. To confirm. Adjective. Having been in existence for a long time and therefore recognized and generally accepted. Invention. Noun. Something invented. Problems. Noun. A difficulty that has to be resolved or dealt with. International. Noun. Someone who has represented their country in a particular sport. Adjective. Of or having to do with more than one nation. Mistress. Noun. A woman. Specifically one with great control. Authority or ownership. Verb. Of a woman. To master. To learn or develop to a high degree of proficiency. Fiber. Noun. A single elongated piece of a given material. Roughly round in cross-section. Often twisted with other fibers to form thread. Minutes. Noun. A unit of time equal to 60 seconds. One sixtieth of an hour. Verb. Of an event. To write in a memo or the minutes of a meeting. Noun. The official notes kept during a meeting. Esteem. Noun. Favorable regard. Verb. To set a high value on. To regard with respect or reverence. Cash. Noun. A store of things that may be required in the future. Which can be retrieved rapidly. Protected or hidden in some way. Verb. To place in a cash. Managers. Noun. A person whose job is to manage something. Such as a business. A restaurant. Or a sports team. Guidelines. Noun, a nonspecific rule or principle that provides direction to action or behavior. Question. Noun, a sentence, phrase or word which asks for information.
reply or response, an interrogative, verb, to ask questions about, to interrogate, to inquire for information, secret, noun, a piece of knowledge that is hidden and intended to be kept hidden, verb, to make or keep secret, adjective, being or kept hidden, smaller, adjective, not large or big, insignificant, few in number, adverb, in a small fashion, ease, noun, ability, the means to do something, particularly, verb, to free, something, from pain, worry, agitation, etc., result, noun, that which results, the conclusion or end to which any course or condition of things leads, or which is obtained by any process or operation, consequence or effect, verb, to proceed, spring up or rise, as a consequence, from facts, arguments, premises, combination of circumstances, consultation, thought or endeavor, interjection, an exclamation of joy following a favorable outcome, boots, noun, a heavy shoe that covers part of the leg, verb, to kick, noun, remedy, amends, verb, to avail, benefit, profit, noun, the act or process of bootstrapping, the starting or restarting of a computing device, verb, to bootstrap, to start a system, e.g. a computer, by invoking its boot process or bootstrap, noun, a bootleg recording, noun, a servant at a hotel etc., who cleans and blacks the boots and shoes, bags, noun, a flexible container made of cloth, paper, plastic, etc., verb, to put into a bag, problem, noun, a difficulty that has to be resolved or dealt with, adjective, of a person or an animal, difficult to train or guide, unruly, figure out, verb, to come to understand, to discover or find a solution, to deduce, law, noun, the body of binding rules and regulations, customs and standards established in a community by its legislative and judicial authorities, verb, to work as a lawyer, to practice law, projects, noun, a planned endeavor, usually with a specific goal and accomplished in several steps or stages, verb, to extend beyond a surface, noun, usually preceded by the one or more high-density urban housing developments for residents having low incomes. Cemetery. Noun. A place where the dead are buried. A graveyard or memorial park. Handler. Noun. One who handles something, especially manually, or someone. Roast. Noun. A cut of meat suited to roasting. Verb. To cook food by heating in an oven or over a fire without covering resulting in a crisp, possibly even slightly charred appearance, adjective, having been cooked by roasting, pairing, verb, to group into one or more sets of two, verb, to impair, to make worse, noun, the combination or union of two things, mixture, noun, the act of mixing, irrelevant, adjective, not related, not applicable, unimportant, not connected, Attributes. Noun. A characteristic or quality of a thing. Verb. To ascribe. Something. To a given cause. Reason etc. Dead. Noun. With the. A demonstrative. Or a possessive. Those who have died. Noun. Often with the. Time when coldness. Darkness. Or stillness is most intense. Noun. Usually plural. Sterile mining waste often present as many large rocks stacked inside the workings. Verb. To prevent by disabling. Stop. Adjective. No longer living. Adverb. Degree. Exactly. Out. Noun. A means of exit. Escape. Reprieve. Etc. Verb. To eject. To expel. Adjective. Not at home. Not at one's office or place of employment. Adverb. Away from the inside center or other point of reference, preposition, from from the inside to the outside of, out of, 
interjection procedure word a radio procedure word meaning that the station is finished with its transmission and does not expect a response manner noun mode of action way of performing or doing anything primitive noun an original or primary word a word not derived from another as opposed to derivative adjective of or pertaining to the beginning or origin or to early times original primordial primeval first season noun each of the four divisions of a year spring summer autumn fall and winter verb to make fit for any use by time or habit to habituate to accustom to an er opera noun a theatrical work combining drama music song and sometimes dance networking verb to interact socially for the purpose of getting connections or personal advancement noun the use of computer networks random noun a roving motion course without definite direction lack of rule or method chance adjective having unpredictable outcomes and in the ideal case all outcomes equally probable resulting from such selection lacking statistical correlation basketball noun a sport in which two opposing teams of five players strive to put a ball through a hoop admire verb to be amazed at to view with surprise to marvel at firing verb to set something often a building on fire noun the process of applying heat or fire especially to clay etc to produce pottery filtered verb to sort sift or isolate adjective with a filter e.g. a cigarette cousins noun the child of a person's uncle or aunt a first cousin sight noun in the singular the ability to see verb to register visually canonical noun the formal robes of a priest adjective present in a canon religious or otherwise priority noun an item's relative importance research noun diligent inquiry or examination to seek or revise facts principles theories applications etc laborious or continued search after truth verb to search or examine with continued care to seek diligently sphere noun a regular three-dimensional object in which every cross-section is a circle the figure described by the revolution of a circle about its diameter verb to place in a sphere or among the spheres to ensphere fallen verb heading to be moved downwards noun the dead adjective having dropped by the force of gravity rune noun a letter or character belonging to the written language of various ancient germanic peoples especially the scandinavians and the anglo-saxons second noun something that is number two in a series verb to agree as a second person to a proposal usually to reach a necessary quorum of two see under hashtag etymology three for translations adjective number two following after the first one with nothing between them the ordinal number corresponding to the cardinal number two adverb with superlative after the first at the second rank listing verb to create or recite a list verb to listen verb to be pleasing to verb to cause something to tilt to one side noun the action of the verb to list adjective as listed or shown on a listing concise verb to make concise to abridge or summarize adjective brief yet including all important information examine verb to observe or inspect carefully or critically attachments noun the act or process of physically or figuratively attaching financier noun a person who as a profession profits from large financial transactions verb 
to carry out financial transactions, to finance something. Accent. Noun. A higher pitched or stronger articulation of a particular syllable of a word or phrase in order to distinguish it from the others or to emphasize it. Afraid. Adjective. Usually used predicatively, not attributively. Be afraid. Impressed with fear or apprehension. In fear. Errands. Noun. A journey undertaken to accomplish some task. Verb. To send someone on an errand. Creme. Noun. A very sugary, fluffy white cream derivative. Guess. Verb. To reach a partly, or totally, unqualified conclusion. Cheek. Noun. The soft skin on each side of the face. Below the eyes. The outer surface of the sides of the oral cavity. Verb. To be impudent towards. Insertion. Noun. The act of inserting, or something inserted. Specifies. Verb. To state explicitly, or in detail, or as a condition. Medicines. Noun. A substance which specifically promotes healing when ingested or consumed in some way. Verb. To treat with medicine. Enthusiasm. Noun. Possession by a god. Divine inspiration or frenzy. Failures. Noun. State or condition of not meeting a desirable or intended objective. Opposite of success. Range. Noun. A line or series of mountains. Buildings etc. Verb. To travel over. An area. etc. To roam. Wander. Dishonest. Adjective. Not honest. Dollar. Noun. Official designation for currency in some parts of the world. Including Canada. The United States. Australia. New Zealand. Hong Kong. And elsewhere. Its symbol is dollar. Regular. Noun. A member of the British Army as opposed to a member of the territorial army or reserve. Adjective. Bound by religious rule. Belonging to a monastic or religious order. Often as opposed to secular. Adverb. Regularly. On a regular basis. Elementary. Noun. An elementary school. Adjective. Relating to the basic, essential or fundamental part of something. Insecure. Adjective. Not secure. Bottleneck. Noun. The narrow portion that forms the pouring spout of a bottle. The neck of a bottle. Verb. To slow by causing a bottleneck. Metro. Noun. An underground railway. Died. Verb. To stop living. To become dead. To undergo death. Verb. To color with dye. Or as if with dye. Quality. Noun. Level of excellence. Adjective, being of good worth, well made, fit for purpose. Dates. Noun. The fruit of the date palm. Phoenix dactylifera. Somewhat in the shape of an olive. Containing a soft, sweet pulp and enclosing a hard kernel. Noun. The addition to a writing. Inscription. Coin. Etc. Which specifies the time. Especially the day. Month. And year. When the writing or inscription was given. Executed. Or made. Verb. To note the time or place of writing or executing. To express in an instrument the time of its execution. Refund. Noun. An amount of money returned. Verb. To return. Money. To. Someone. To reimburse. Kiss. Verb. To touch with the lips or press the lips against. Usually to show love or affection or passion. Or as part of a greeting. Ninetieth. Noun. The person or thing in the ninetieth position. Adjective. The ordinal form of the number ninety. Improvements. Noun. The act of improving, advancement or growth, a bettering. Borrowing. Verb. To receive. Something. From somebody temporarily. Expecting to return it. Noun. An instance of something being borrowed. Imagination. Noun. The image-making power of the mind. The act of mentally creating or reproducing an object not previously perceived. The ability to create such images. Lottery. Noun. A scheme for the distribution of prizes by lot or chance.
especially a gaming scheme in which one or more tickets bearing particular numbers draw prizes. The other tickets are blanks. Satisfying. Verb. To do enough for. To meet the needs of. To fulfill the wishes or requirements of. Adjective. That satisfies. Gratifies or pleases. That removes any feeling of lack. Fields. Noun. A land area free of woodland. Cities. And towns. Open country. Verb. To intercept or catch. A ball. And play it. Middle. Noun. A center. Midpoint. Verb. To take a middle view of. Adjective. Located in the middle. In between. Men. Noun. An adult male human. Noun. Collective. The. People. Humanity. Concern. Noun. That which affects one's welfare or happiness. A matter of interest to someone. The adposition before the matter of interest is usually over. About or for. Verb. To relate or belong to. To have reference to or connection with. To affect the interest of. To be of importance to. Introducing. Verb. Of people. To cause. Someone. To be acquainted. With someone else. Capacity. Noun. The ability to hold. Receive or absorb. Adjective. Filling the allotted space. Influence. Noun. The power to affect, control or manipulate something or someone. The ability to change the development of fluctuating things such as conduct. Thoughts or decisions. Verb. To have an effect on by using gentle or subtle action. To exert an influence upon. To modify. Bias. Or sway. To persuade or induce. Sermon. Noun. Religious discourse. A written or spoken address on a religious or moral matter. Emergency. Noun. A situation which poses an immediate risk and which requires urgent attention. Financier. Noun. A person who, as a profession, profits from large financial transactions. Verb. To carry out financial transactions. To finance something. Renew. Verb. To make. Something. New again. To restore to freshness or original condition. Noun. The act of renewing. Observation. Noun. The act of observing, and the fact of being observed. See observance. Government. Noun. The body with the power to make and or enforce laws to control a country. Land area. People or organization. Species. Noun. Type or kind. Compare race. Parallelize. Verb. To make parallel. To each other. Cart. Noun. A small. Open. Wheeled vehicle. Drawn or pushed by a person or animal. More often used for transporting goods than passengers. Verb. To carry goods. Hiked. Verb. To take a long walk for pleasure or exercise. Depressed. Verb. To press down. Adjective. Unhappy. Despondent. Sleepy. Noun. The gum that builds up in the eye. Sleep. Gowned. Adjective. Tired. Feeling the need for sleep. New. Noun. Things that are new. Verb. To make new. To recreate. To renew. Adjective. Recently made. Are created. Adverb. Newly. Especially in composition. Verb. To create. An object. By calling its constructor. Pediatrician. Noun. A physician who specializes in pediatrics. A children's doctor or baby's doctor. Restrictive. Adjective. Confining. Limiting. Containing within defined bounds. Correction. Noun. The act of correcting. Sixth. Noun. Not used in the plural. The person or thing in the sixth position. Verb. To divide by six. Which also means multiplying a denominator by six. Adjective. The ordinal form of the number six. Creep. Verb. To move slowly with the abdomen close to the ground. Auto. Noun. An automobile. Verb. To travel by automobile. Adjective. Capable of operating without external control or intervention. Do away with. Verb. To abolish. To put an end to. To eliminate. 
display. Noun. A show or spectacle. Verb. To show conspicuously. To exhibit. To demonstrate. To manifest. Interests. Noun. The price paid for obtaining. Or price received for providing. Money or goods in a credit transaction. Calculated as a fraction of the amount or value of what was borrowed. Verb. To engage the attention of. To awaken interest in. To excite emotion or passion in. In behalf of a person or thing. Noun. The persons interested in any particular business or cause. Taken collectively. Replied. Verb. To give a written or spoken response. Especially to a question. Request. Accusation or criticism. To answer. Fixes. Noun. A repair or corrective action. Verb. To pierce. Now generally replaced by transfix. Crown. Noun. A royal. Imperial or princely headdress. A diadem. Verb. To place a crown on the head of. Adjective. Of. Related to. Or pertaining to a crown. Shower. Noun. A brief fall of precipitation. Spell of rain. Or a similar fall of snow. Sleet. Or cascade. Verb. Followed by with. To spray with. A specified liquid. Furniture. Noun. Large movable item. S. Usually in a room. Which enhance. S. The room's characteristics. Functionally or decoratively. Stepdaughter. Noun. The daughter of one's spouse and not of oneself. Lift. Noun. An act of lifting or raising. Verb. To raise or rise. Applicator. Noun. A tool or device used to apply a fluid or semi-fluid substance to a surface. Passion. Noun. Any great, strong, powerful emotion. Especially romantic love or extreme hate. Verb. To suffer pain or sorrow. To experience a passion. To be extremely agitated. Magnifying. Verb. To praise, glorify, someone or something, especially God. Closet. Noun. Any private area. Particularly. Bowers in the open air. Verb. To shut away for private discussion. Adjective. Private. Proxy. Noun. An agent or substitute authorized to act for another person. Verb. To serve as a proxy for. Adjective. Used as a proxy or acting as a proxy. Fantasy. Noun. That which comes from one's imagination. Verb. To fantasize. About. Additional. Noun. Something added. Adjective. Supplemental or added to something. Insects. Noun. An arthropod in the class Insecta. Characterized by six legs. Up to four wings. And a chitinous exoskeleton. Carrying. Verb. To lift. Something. And take it to another place. To transport. Something. By lifting. Noun. Transportation. Semantic. Noun. In such writing systems as the Chinese writing system. The portion of a phono-semantic character that provides an indication of its meaning. Contrasted with phonetic. Adjective. Of or relating to semantics or the meanings of words. Donate. Verb. To make a donation. To give away something of value to support or contribute towards a cause or for the benefit of. Another. Monk. Noun. A male member of a monastic order who has devoted his life for religious service. Verb. To be a monk. Reporter. Noun. Someone or something that reports. Citizens. Noun. A resident of a city or town, especially one with legally recognized rights or duties. Smother. Verb. To suffocate. Stifle. Obstruct. More or less completely. The respiration of something or someone. Search. Noun. An attempt to find something. Verb. To look in. A place. For something. Hot. Verb. With up. To heat. To make or become hot. Adjective. Of an object. Having a high temperature. Antique. Noun. A grotesque representation of a figure. A gargoyle. Adjective. Playful. Funny. Absurd. Noun. A pose. 
often exaggerated, in anticipation of an action. For example, a brief squat before jumping. Noun. In general, anything very old. Specifically. Verb. To search or shop for antiques. Adjective. Having existed in ancient times. Descended from antiquity. Used especially in reference to Greece and Rome. Council. Noun. A committee that leads or governs, e.g. city council, student council. Stack. Noun. Heading, a pile. Verb. To arrange in a stack, or to add to an existing stack. Deliveries. Noun. The act of conveying something. Smother. Verb. To suffocate. Stifle. Obstruct. More or less completely. The respiration of something or someone. Sits. Noun. Subsidence of the roof of a coal mine. Verb. Of a person. To be in a position in which the upper body is upright and supported by the buttocks. Noun. Short for situation. Pragmatism. Noun. The pursuit of practicality over aesthetic qualities. A concentration on facts rather than emotions or ideals. Lifetime. Noun. The duration of the life of someone or something. Encourages. Verb. To mentally support. To motivate. Give courage. Hope or spirit. Scream. Noun. A loud. Emphatic. Exclamation of extreme emotion. Especially horror. Fear. Excitement. Or anger. It may comprise a word or a sustained. High-pitched vowel sound. Verb. To cry out with a shrill voice. To utter a sudden. Sharp outcry. Or shrill. Loud cry. As in fright or extreme pain. To shriek. To screech. Immortality. Noun. The condition of being immortal. Sacrificing. Verb. To offer. Something. As a gift to a deity. Regulating. Verb. To dictate policy. Agrees. Verb. To harmonize in opinion. Statement. Or action. To be in unison or concord. To be or become united or consistent. To concur. Directorate. Noun, an agency headed by a director, usually a subdivision of a major government department. Neighbor. Noun, a person living on adjacent or nearby land. A person situated adjacently or nearby. Anything. Of the same type of thing as the subject. In an adjacent or nearby position. Verb. To be adjacent to. Customer. Noun. A patron. A client. One who purchases or receives a product or service from a business or merchant. Or intends to do so. Cities. Noun. A large settlement. Bigger than a town. Sometimes with a specific legal definition. Depending on the place. Either. Adverb. After a negative. As well. Pronoun. One or other of two people or things. Conjunction. Introduces the first of two. Or occasionally more. Options or possibilities. The second. Or last. Of which is introduced by. Or. Says. Noun. A chance to speak. The right or power to influence or make a decision. Verb. To pronounce. Noun. A type of fine cloth similar to serge. Noun. Trial by sample. Assay. Specimen. Verb. To try. To assay. Noun. A strainer for milk. Many. Noun. A multitude. A great aggregate. A mass of people. The generality. The common herd. Adjective. A large number of. Numerous. Pronoun. An indefinite large number of people or things. Countless. Adjective. Too many to count. Enumerable or incalculable. Relations. Noun. The manner in which two things may be associated. Sizes. Noun. Obsolete outside dialectal. An assize. Verb. To adjust the size of. To make a certain size. Noun. A thin. Weak glue used as primer for paper or canvas intended to be painted upon. Verb. To apply glue or other primer to a surface which is to be painted. Mortgage. Noun. A special form of secured loan where the purpose of the loan must be specified to the lender. 
to purchase assets that must be fixed, not movable, property, such as a house or piece of farmland. The assets are registered as the legal property of the borrower but the lender can seize them and dispose of them if they are not satisfied with the manner in which the repayment of the loan is conducted by the borrower. Once the loan is fully repaid, the lender loses this right of seizure and the assets are then deemed to be unencumbered. Verb. To borrow against a property. To obtain a loan for another purpose by giving away the right of seizure to the lender over a fixed property such as a house or piece of land. To pledge a property in order to get a loan. Slopes. Noun. An area of ground that tends evenly upward or downward. Verb. To tend steadily upward or downward. Punctual. Adjective. Prompt. On time. Prison. Noun. A place or institution of confinement. Especially of long-term confinement for those convicted of serious crimes or otherwise considered. Undesirable by the government. Verb. To imprison. Japan. Noun. A hard black enamel varnish containing asphalt. Verb, to varnish with Japan. Horror. Noun, an intense distressing emotion of fear or repugnance. Defend. Verb, to ward off attacks against. To fight to protect. To guard. Colonial. Noun, a person from a country that is or was controlled by another. Adjective, of or pertaining to a colony. Missile. Noun. Any object used as a weapon by being thrown or fired through the air. Such as stone, arrow or bullet. Catholic. Adjective. Of the Western Christian Church. As differentiated from e.g. the Orthodox Church. Adjective. Universal. All-encompassing. Put down. Verb. To insult. Belittle. Or demean. Noun. An insult or barb. A snide or demeaning remark solves verb to find an answer or solution to a problem or question to work out d adjective abbreviation of declare adverb from a higher position to a lower one downwards boots noun a heavy shoe that covers part of the leg verb to kick noun remedy amends verb to avail benefit profit noun the act or process of bootstrapping. The starting or restarting of a computing device. Verb. To bootstrap. To start a system. E.g. a computer. By invoking its boot process or bootstrap. Noun. A bootleg recording. Noun. A servant at a hotel etc. Who cleans and blacks the boots and shoes. Seems. Verb. To appear. To look outwardly. To be perceived as drinks verb to consume a liquid through the mouth noun a beverage noun a short break in play to allow the players to have a drink and for quick repairs to be made to equipment or the pitch dust noun fine particles verb to remove dust from investigation noun the act of investigating the process of inquiring into or following up Research. Especially patient or thorough inquiry or examination.